So this video is covering how to preview your running node application in the Gorm container. Some people have expressed concerns about not being able to see their project running URL or the preview URL. So let's say you have an application like this little example right here, which actually probably won't work. So let me get rid of some stuff in here. Okay, so now if you visit the home page, it'll tell you is this thing on. So let's cover a couple things. Basically, if you followed my other Gorm tutorials, then you should be using port 3000 right here. And so what will happen is if you're inside of your uh, Gorm folder right here, you can LS and you can see, okay, here's all the stuff that is on the left hand side. So we have access to app.js right here. And so if you run node app.js, then it should tell you that it's servers listening on port 3000. And then you're going to want to go figure out the preview URL. So you go to project up here, top left corner, and then you go to build, or sorry, running URL and port. And when you click on that, some people don't have anything right here. So like if I delete this and delete that, if you want to support devsprout.io, then check out this Chrome extension that I created. You can add it to your browser with the click of a button. And then once it's installed, you can go over to udemy.com and anytime that you're thinking of buying a course, let's say you're just checking a course out, the extension will notice what you're doing and it'll actually redirect you to the same course page but it'll add my affiliate ID to the URL. So you can see here it's added my ID to the URL and now if you do happen to buy that course I'll make a small commission off of that sale. It may just look like this so you don't have anywhere to go to preview it and the reason is you probably have a username or something that's not unique or it wasn't able to generate a unique URL for you in which case what you'll do is you'll go up to URL right here in front of HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash and you'll put something unique in here. So I'll just put GORM IDE test one and hopefully that'll work. Now down here where it says port, it says 80 and then tilde 65,000. Let's just go ahead and use 3000. The next step is to click the register button and see it's telling me that domain is already in use. Okay, makes sense. That's probably pretty common. So let's just do something like WDB test one, try that. So we'll register it and that one's not taken. So now I have this URL down here. Now it says for debug. So let's go ahead and change it to for run. And that's it, we've got it set for run. Here's the URL. In fact, you can either copy it with this little icon or you can just click on it and it'll open it up in a new tab. And lo and behold, there's our is this thing on. So now we're previewing. I'm just gonna click okay right here to close that. Now we're previewing this URL. Okay, so we're almost done, but there is the issue of some people are following Colt, which is totally fine, and you're doing process.env.port, uh, comma, process.env.ip. And if you have that set, that's totally cool, but the problem is this variable is not defined anywhere. So if I save this and I restart my server, and then I go back to that URL, connection refused okay so we're trying to connect to a server that's not running on that port and right here it's hard-coded servers listening on port 3000 so that's kind of confusing because it's actually not running on anything right now and so what you'd want to do is one of two things you can either just set the port environment variable right away from the terminal so port is equal to 3000 and then space node app.js and now if you go preview it is this thing on it's working or you can go back here and where you have process.env.port you can just put a space two pipes and then 3000 and this basically says use the first one unless it doesn't exist and then use the second one if that's the case so then you save the file restart your server again oops this time you don't need to do the port equals 300 or 3000 you can just say node app.js all right, cool. So with it restarted, go back to your preview URL and refresh, and it's still working. So that is how you generate a preview URL if you don't have one by registering a unique URL. And then that's how you also get your server to not do that connection refused error. So that's it for this video. Thanks a lot, and we will catch you in the next one.